Hello everybody and welcome to Neely Music. I'm O'Neill Donald and today I'm actually talking about The Voice and the battle that happened between Brian Batista and Malik Hurd singing It's a Man's World by James Brown. The reason why I believe Brian won was actually in three places. It was in sensitivity, it was in tone quality, and it was in stage presence or confidence. Now, firstly, I want to say that I felt like Malik actually won in the get-go uh, when I first watched it because Malik has amazing runs. He is such a skilled singer. However, I realized that Brian, as a singer, he was much more sensitive to uh, to not just the song, but the performance, to the stage, everything. Because although M Malik is a much more complex ri riffer and runner, um, Brian actually placed his riffs in very sensitive places. When it comes to the way that he mapped out his performance, he had some riffs, yes, but there were other places that he added some things like he manipulated the timbre of his voice, he uh, brought down his voice, brought down the volume, brought it back, you know, placed it back a little bit just to give a dynamic feel to, th to the performance that was not just about running. And personally, that leads into my next point, I felt like Brian was more confident and was mu on the stage a lot more than Malik. And not just in terms of stage presence, but mainly in terms of vocal performance. Because Brian, ha like he didn't feel the need to fill up every single space when it came to when it came to the uh, performance because he let the band play sometimes and he just like you know just little little spaces that were sensitive but Malik I felt like he was a little bit on autopilot he was constantly filling up the space with his with his riffs and his runs which were skilled and which were accurate but Brian had a, li a lot more dynamic to the way that he's performing and my last point it's kind of sad but the tone quality is so subjective and Brian brings a ring to his voice that Malik's voice just simply doesn't have when it comes to the technique that Malik is using um, it kind of takes the ring out of his voice because he's in this belty uh, round shape to his voice that um, that that lacks the luster and lacks the you know the sting uh, that Brian does and in addition to that Brian also has his falsetto and Christina Aguilera has a very soft uh, has a soft spot for, for falsetto and I think all of the judges on the voice have kind of a soft spot for falsetto and I'm for me I'm not really quite attracted to it but that's the way that it is as a final note I'm glad that Malik got stolen by Pharrell because Getting stolen by Pharrell means that Malik will be able to work on the lighter sides of his voice, work on, uh, you know, just feeling the moment and really um, leaving space. Because I think Pharrell, in, in his music, he's very um, he's very big on, like, the subtleties and even the, the way that he performs and sings. I think that he'll be a great coach for Malik. So that ends this week's commentary on The Voice, but that doesn't have to be the end of the conversation. You can comment below and tell me what you thought about this battle and what you thought. Did you think Malik should have won over Brian? Tell me and let me know. Also, like this video and check out my other videos. I do vocal analyses, I do music reviews, and I talk about music a lot on this channel. And I also do vlogs, so you would really enjoy, uh, and I would really enjoy your company here on Neely Music. So I'll see you later. Bye bye.